If you ever lost burbles in your BMW and don't know how to fix them, then this video is for you. But first, let's accelerate onto this highway. spin obviously it is raining I don't typically make videos in the rain but figure today why not anyways last week I started making a video for you showing you the fact that my car lost burbles that's right it all started when I was making yet another video two weeks prior which showed you all the different tools you can use to arrest, uh, erase the check engine light. BMWs are not necessarily known to be the most reliable vehicles out there. Well, throughout the process of me trying to erase that check engine light, I did something and I uh, lost burbles. So, the following video, I wanted to show you that I was trying to get the burbles back. So, I reloaded the tune a couple of times, reloaded my uh, beamer code parameters, reloaded some of the beamer link settings. No matter what combination I tried, nothing, and I'm telling you, nothing worked. Coding successful. No, I want the exhaust burble to be OEM. Nope. Then I researched that issue further and realized that there's a lot of people out there who had similar experiences. They all of a sudden lost their burbles after doing something, doing coding with the car, and they don't know how to fix them. Now, when it comes to burbles, I'm more of an OEM type of a burble guy. I love my burbles. I don't want them to sound like gunshots, but I, I, want, I want a bit of a burble. I feel like it adds to the car's uh, character. My Cayman has nice OEM burbles, especially exaggerated with the aftermarket exhaust. And this car has nicely sounding OEM burbles, also exaggerated by the, uh, by the mid pipe and the exhaust that I have. So I wanted to get them back, but I didn't know how until I stumbled upon a thread where someone addressed my concern. Let me get out of the shopping center first. Okay, so I've realized that because of the fact that I use Beamer Link, Beamer Code, and Boot Mod, not all of these softwares, softwares? Pieces of software talk to each other. And then as I was going through Beamer Link, so this is Beamer Link's homepage, and in it you have all these parameters. One of them is active sound. I was told that if you enable active sound on Beamer Link, disable it on Beamer Code, and then enable it in boot model, various different combinations like this, toggling active sound either disables or enables bur burbles, as you can hear. Now, in my case, None of these combinations worked. And I tried many, many times. I promise you, many, many times. Usually I would get that blah, 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 nothing. And then someone told me that there's this button called sound tuning. See, sound tuning right there. And what the sound tuning button does, check this out, you click it and it gives you this little toggle, either on or off. And what this is, I kid you not, this is burbles on, or off at an instant. So check this out, burbles now, I click it to off. You hear it? No burbles, no burbles. Now click it back on. You hear, you hear the backfires now? Off, no burbles. Let's try it again. On, <laughs> burbles came back. Here, let's get back on the highway. So, now that I know that this function exists, I can easily, on the fly, adjust if I want my burbles to be on or off. Now, this doesn't allow me to adjust the aggressiveness of the burbles. That needs to be done through boot mod, but if I wanted to simply turn them off, if I want the car to be less obnoxious, it's as easy as flicking this button. And I'm telling you, it's uh, it completely, <laughs> I, I was blown away. So I must have 
press this button when I was making that other a check engine light video for you. Uh, so that's what happened. But what's cool about Beamer Link, uh, on this actually police officer, wow, good thing we didn't accelerate fast there. Uh, all right. Lots of wheel spin and lots of torque in this car. Anyways, what's cool about this Beamer Link software is the fact that, and I hope the camera picks it up, uh, you've got all these things. So for example, if I click on dashboard, you've got your different parameters that you can select. In this case, I selected speed, my coolant, and then oil temperature. See, right there. But you can do all kinds of uh, parameters, whatever you want. You can uh, adjust exhaust flaps. You can either keep them open or closed. You can uh, uh, disable or enable active sound, except, except, and here's the thing. If you disable active sound on Beamer Link, that will automatically disable your burbles no matter what sound tuning option you have. It's the strangest thing. And again, it has to do with the fact that we're using three different pieces of software between Beamer Link, Beamer Code, and then Boot Mod. I think something just doesn't talk well with each other and, uh, and that's what happens. But at least now I know how to correct this issue. I was really going crazy without my burbles. Like I said, I love my burbles like I love my taffy and I'm a man who loves his taffy. But <laughs> with all the, uh, the honesty, this is how you fix it. I couldn't be more happy with how it sounds. And uh, on that note, if you want to do this, if you want to try something similar, let me uh, know if you have any questions. I'll link the link to Beamer Link or the name for Beamer Link. I'll also link uh, you the uh, VPeak, which is the little box that allows you to sync your, your car with the phone and uh, you can do these things. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to enjoy uh, some burbles as I drive home in harmony and hopefully not do anything too crazy in this rain. I, I think we need traction control in the rain. I, I refuse to, I probably should. You know what, no one's behind us, let's check the brakes. Woo! 